So we're here at Dragon League 2014 and we're speaking to Mark from Mantic Games. Yep. Uh, How are you doing? You having a good show? It's an excellent show. It's really good, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Is your first time? Uh, first time is Mantic, but I've come to Dragon League before myself. Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, it's a good too, man. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So, did, yep, did it come, how does it feel like being on the other side? Uh, it's good. This is much bigger. This is a new venue, obviously, and it's much bigger and better. It's excellent. Cool. So what have you got on show for us? Well, we've got a little bit of everything today. We've got Dread Ball, including the Zoo Forest Special Editions. We've got Mars Attacks. Yep. We've got Dead Zone. And along at the end there, we've brought a little sneak peek of Dreadball Extreme, which is due out in spring. Cool. So, Dead Zone and Dreadball are your, I guess, your pillar titles. Yeah, for. that's two of our core titles right now. Cool. Yeah. And I guess the feedback been good? Yes, it's been excellent. They both sell really well. Cool. So, let's talk about Dead Zone first, if that's okay. Yeah. So, briefly, just give us an overview of what it's about. Well, in the, the world of Warpath, which Dreadball and Dead Zone are both set in, there are ancient artifacts called plague artifacts. The corporation, being the corporation, from time to time will uncover one of these and try and maybe weaponize it or investigate it. Almost every single time it ends badly. It triggers a plague incursion. Plague is a biogenetic disease which wipes out 90% of the population, turns the survivors into monsters, undead, zombies, stage one plague beasts. Whenever that happens, it triggers what's called a dead zone. The corporation essentially shuts down, shuts down the whole planet Several systems round about that and wipes it from existence. Oh wow, it, okay. You know, it's cauterized, it just cleans the wound entirely. It then sends enforcers in to try and destroy the, the plague and make sure there are no survivors because of course this never happened. Okay, cool. All right, so let's just grab a copy. Those are brokers. That's brand new out this weekend. Okay, so, uh, they, uh, so it's the first time they're being shown? It is. Those are basically okay. dwarfs in space. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. It's a work gang. They turn up on a, a plague planet and they will strip it down to its bedrock. They will take everything which is salvageable and usable and tow away and sell it. Cool. So what makes Dead Zone unique? What would you say separates it from the It's got game? a superb background. The game itself comes in a huge box, you've got your terrain, you've got a rubber mat, you've got factions, you've got everything you need to play the game, and it's a fast and deadly game. But the best thing about it is, is the storyline behind Dead Zone. And when the new factions come in constantly, a lot of those are fan-driven. So when the fans tell us what they like through Dreadball, we start moving that into the main Dead Zone universe. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of interaction, so the game's constantly evolving. Exactly, it's, it's a living game, new races are coming in all the time, it's a, a future where there are lots of alien races, and we like the idea that alien races aren't just humans with ridges, no, they're actually completely non-humanoid, they don't look anything remotely like a human. I suppose that gives you a lot of creative freedom in what? It, in entirely, yeah. And when we released we release a new team for Dreadball and the fans go, oh, this is fantastic, we love it, like the Terratons, then we'll move that across into the Dead Zone universe as well. Oh, cool. And you say that the box comes with everything you need and it's massive. Do you mind if um, yep. we just have a little one oh, show? Big. So, oh, yeah, these are it's pretty hefty. And how much does this retail for? £65 normally. So £65, pounds. You get this, yeah, you see on the back, there's a, there's a lot of game. Right here. So how long, when did it first come out? So it came out just over a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so really well. Dread Ball was about two years, that was just over a year. Okay, cool. So let's, yeah, let's move on to Dread Ball. Uh, yep. Which, we have the box, which is right here. Can you um, just give a quick overview on what this Dread Ball is, is a future sports game. It's practically a blood sport. It's set in the same universe as Dead Zone. Mm -hmm. It's what corporation uses to keep the masses happy and satisfied. If they can sit down, have a weekend, Watch their favourite match on Dreadball, watch a few people getting killed over the, the arenas. That means the, the general billions of people on all the prosperity worlds are all happy. Great. Yeah. Well, that's what we all like to watch on, on TV on a weekend, Exactly. Right? It's, like, it's like Football Plus. Awesome. So, what makes um, Dreadball different from, I suppose, like other games? It's very, very fast. It's more tactical than you think. Although the rules are simple to learn, it's difficult to master. The game plays so quickly you would not believe. It catches people unawares normally when they just start to play it because when you score, you don't reset. The okay. game plays on, so if your team's out of position, it has to stay out of position. You've then got to try and recover, and the, the pot of position has an advantage over you. Okay, so I, I guess that means, yeah, depending on who you're playing against and how you play, 
every time the, every game that they badly get from the kid. Yeah. It's, it's just things carry over. Most new players are surprised at how fast the game plays really, really quick. So how long does a regular game? On average? Forty five minutes. Okay. So Start to finish. Cool. And you mentioned before that there's a new new version coming yep. out? Yeah, Ball Extreme. If you like, that's Premier League. Yep. That's played, you've got medical staff, you've got coaches with advanced technology, you've got referees, that's played in the street. You've cool. got none of that. You've got a back alley, you've got a factory floor, <laughs> you've got a team of convicts and you've got a team of mass murderers who just go at it, hammer and tongs. Okay, so it's... A the, the rules are generally the same? The rules are generally the same, but the way you play the game completely yeah, differently. Yeah. Okay, cool. And that's not, the approval is not out? March. It's out in March. It'll be about March cool. this year. Right. Well, I think, yeah, I think that's uh, something that we can all be looking forward to. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Mark. No worries. Thank you very much. Cheers. And yeah, we've got plenty of other videos from January 2014, so be sure to check those out.